Good afternoon and welcome back to Click Connect. We're here in Orlando, Florida for a day of power packed coverage on theCUBE. My name is Savannah Peterson. Very excited to be joined by Scott from UPS and a robot for this segment. <laughs> Scott, thank you so much for taking the time today. Thanks for having me. Thanks for stopping by. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And, and thanks to our little robot here for taking time for us as well. Tell me a little bit about your role at UPS. So I have responsibility for strategy and product development for our global fulfillment business. So it's a business that most people don't necessarily associate with UPS, but in addition to global transportation and parcel deliveries, we run a global fulfillment operation for retailers, service parts for both forward and, and reverse logistics. Wow, I don't even think that I was aware of that. Yeah, there you go. No wonder that you've built our little friend here. Yeah. Can you tell me a little bit about this? Sure, so you know, we've uh, really over the last four to five years, we've transformed our business, leaned heavily into robotics, AI, automation, both to you know, improve our service to our customers, scalability, yeah. um, re you know, reduce some of the pressures from a you know, labor market uh, coming out of COVID. It was really difficult to find uh, the, the workforce that's required. So yeah. we have a couple of global strategic partnerships from a robotics perspective that we've deployed within our warehouses. And we've really integrated that with you know, AI and data providers, um, providing an end-to-end an -end solution, giving our customers really total access across the end-to-end -end supply chain, taking what's happening on the warehouse floor and bringing it to, to, to their laptop, to their mobile phone, to, to see what's happening in their supply chain. I think that's so important. So how did you, what, what was the decision tree like to decide you needed to make this particular robot? Well, um, really industry forces, right? So. Mm -hmm. Um, changes in, in market demand and consumer expectations shift, you know, continued yeah. growth in e-commerce, which is a, a different supply chain solution. It's a lot more labor uh, intensive, requires a, requires a lot more space. So we knew we needed some different technology solutions, really different operating solutions to be able to continue to support our customers and help them grow in new channels and new market um, yeah. and, and support, support their sales growth where it was happening. Yeah. So what does this do exactly? So uh, this is uh, through one of our partners, Locus Robotics. So it's a, uh, basically a pick assist robot. So it's, it's deployed within our network and essentially the, the, all the order queue. So we get all of our orders in. It looks at the overall order pool, runs some AI and analytics on it to basically optimize the pick route within the warehouse. So it, you know, buy tote, buy bot, it creates allocated orders on the right SKU mix and then creates a route within the warehouse that it travels and it allows our associates to really stay in their zone mm -hmm. um, and reduces travel. They, they no longer have to push and pull carts and, and all that, but if there's um, you know, quality control metrics uh, to ensure we're picking the right product. Yeah. And it's also available in 40 different languages. So as our associates walk up to the to the bot it, it reads their their tag so it associates their individual user profile which is so cool and and displays the information in their native language right yeah. which helps us from a recruiting and a retention perspective it really makes the environment comfortable and inviting and uh you know get, makes it easier for them to to integrate and, and be a part of the team yeah, you know, I was just going to ask, what's the team's response spent to AI and robots? They love it. Yeah, they love it, right? Oh, so yeah, it's I saw uh, your eyes light up when you said yeah. that. That's great. Well, That's you know, we've, got, we've got the we've got the video rolling in the back, and if the yeah. audio was on, you'll hear the people talking about, oh, we love working with the bots, and we really call them cobots, right? Because they are they're working with our team, working with their associates, I like and that. you know, it takes a takes a lot of the negative parts of the job, right? The pushing and the pulling and lifting and walking puts that the emphasis, backache, I feel put, like. puts yeah. that emphasis on the bots and, yeah. and you know let's let's our team members do where you know the things that we need a human to do, right? To yeah. manage the inventory and ensure we're picking the right product and you know gives them an environment. There's some there's some cool gaming technology in here where they can they can track their productivity and see how they rank on a daily basis. Oh, and fun. Yeah, Your buddies a little yeah, that's right. kind of, if they're can, a little more efficient. Can compete like against one another throughout the day. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah somebody gets great. a little bonus at lunch or whatever. <laughs> that's that's right. right. Oh, I that's love right. that. That's, that's, that's great. Cobot, I haven't heard that term before. Yeah. Yeah, I think that actually makes it really approachable and digestible, especially when we're in this kind of hype curve it moment is. that's happening. Right, and it's, thing. you know, I mean, all of the, the innovation, it's, uh, you know, it, it's really about where the digital meets the physical, mm -hmm. right? And, and how you bring that together and, you know, both a efficient 
operating environment, but also usable data and analytics that, that yeah. we can use to make better decisions. So a lot of yeah, that's awesome. Tell me a little bit about the partnership with Click. I imagine you've got a lot of data on that <laughs> warehouse. <laughs> we yeah. do. So, um, so we're partnering with Click really in, in kind of three different ways. So we leverage them in our global transportation control tower, um, looking for our customers that, that have a global supply chain around order status, inventory status, transportation mm -hmm. delivery status, providing one place to kind of see all of that and use within our control tower to you know, not only understand performance levels, but really interject and intervene where there may be a problem. Gives us some advanced notification to be able to do that. Um, from a small package perspective with intelligent analytics, uh, we use Click as uh, you know, really providing that data around our customers' shipping profile. Um, shipping weights, packages, trends, zones, um, all of that so that they can um, more easily understand their business, um, understand trends and profiles in their data, and then we we leverage it internally for a lot of internal analytics and reporting analysis on, on our customers and our business performance. I love it. That's, that sounds pretty pretty hardy. So you've been working together for a little while. Yeah, I think the relationship uh, has been three to four years kind of in the making so far. Oh, so, nice. Yeah, it's yeah. great. All right, taking off your UPS hat for All our right. final question. Sure. What do you hope, just as a human being, AI brings into our future world? <laughs> that, that, <laughs> could be a lot of things. That, that, it could be a lot of things. That's a that's a it's an interesting question. So, I mean, at, at the end of the day, I hope it um, allows us to to make connections more quickly to you know continue to you know not only improve supply chains, uh, improve improve business performance, help help companies succeed um, but you know also helps us solve tough problems right um, and you know if I think about kind of where it could go in the future and you know the multitude of, of use cases there's a you know there's an impact on business there's an impact on consumers but but also just in our, our neighbors and uh, uh, global population right so I, I, I think the, the use cases are, are kind of unending it'll be it'll be an interesting journey to see to see where we ultimately lie in, but it's a it's a ton of innovation. It's an exciting time. Yes, it and, is. And uh, yeah, it's good. It's good to be on the forefront of it. It certainly is. Now, I told you earlier when I came by to say hello that we were going to ask Twitter what to name this beautiful band. Oh, did so we get? Did we get? A we, response? we got some. We got quite a few responses yeah. actually. But I think the winner was actually from Click themselves, and they wanted to call it the Dispatch Droid or Didi. Didi. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, All right. This is our little our little droid friend. Yeah. I love it. Scott, this has been a great chat. Yeah. Thank, thank you. you. All I really right. Appreciate I appreciate it. it. Thanks for taking thank, the time. Oh yes, my pleasure. And thank all of you for tuning in to our live coverage here at Click Connect in Orlando, Florida. We've got wonderful, brilliant people. We've got robots, folks. You don't want to miss it. We're all day live. My name is Savannah Peterson. You're watching theCUBE, the leading source for enterprise tech news.